All right. Welcome to the 290 Mo Podcast. I appreciate you ladies' time. If you could, introduce yourself to my viewers and listeners. All right. What's up? I am the Big Boss Bean. That's B-I-G-B-O-S-S-B-E-E-N-E. Instagram is just that, B-I-G-B-O-S-S-B-E-E-N-E. Okay, okay. I am Fee Baby, two E's, two Y's. Don't forget it. You can follow me on Instagram at Fee Baby with one underscore. It's the same spelling. Yeah. Okay, okay. What's the word? What's the word, ladies? Oh, I love good. I love recurring guests, man. How y'all you know been, what man? Good. What's, what's been going on since the last time we sat down? Shit, working. Working. Working hard. Working hard. Got this EP dropping, Street Sweepers, April 12th. Mm -hmm. It's a movie, man. Okay, Fee Baby, what, what's the uh, synopsis behind Street Sweepers? Well, Street, sweep, street Sweeper is just basically um, about a lot of things, <laughs> about bitches we didn't swept, mm -hmm. secrets we didn't kept, but, um, you know what I'm um, saying? Yeah, it's just a little bit um, about us, what mm -hmm. we do, what we represent, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just showing off our talents, different shit we could do. That is um, well. You know, while um, keeping it cute. Is, Still saying what we got to say. You feel me? So. Now, now, is this our first collab project? Because I want to say the first time we sat down, you were supposed to be on your way through retirement. You know, I was yeah. totally against that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. is this a collab project? And where do you stand right now as far as your music career? Um, Right now, you know, a lot of things have taken place that I really didn't expect. Um. This year was just really a trial year because I'm a manager. It's really a trial year to show everybody what I can do so that they would feel um, better and, you know, feel like I could be trusted. But um, it's turned into something else. And I don't know. I just, wherever it takes me, bro, I ain't going to lie. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I rap what I want to. But when it comes down to me and Fee, um, this is our first project actually together, mm -hmm. um, an EP. It's a three-song EP, three songs, three videos. Um yeah, so it's just so, something we put together, and mm -hmm. we know everybody gonna this fuck with it. This is my first project. Period. Okay. That so, so Fee Baby, two parts. Why would you, you know, what I'm saying, why do the collab project with Beanie? You know, what I'm saying, and why, you know, what I'm saying, with your first project. You know, what I'm saying, why wouldn't you like let me get one under my belt first, or nothing like that? What made you feel comfortable enough to go ahead and do it with Beanie? Honestly, like we said before, it was just basically how we met. Mm -hmm. um, we, be, we met based off music, honestly. Yeah. And um, ever since we met, every time we get together, we do music. Mm -hmm. Whether it's our music, somebody else's music. We that just magic. always doing music. <laughs> and she's like a powerhouse to me. So um, our chemistry is way different. So um, I wouldn't want nobody else to do it with me. Mm -hmm. so. Ditto. Yeah. <laughs> when it done, I couldn't see myself doing another so, EP. So how did this come about? Like, whose idea was it? Was y'all in the studio making music? Because I know y'all came through and killed the booth already. Like, was that, was it already in the plans at that point? Like, how did we get here? So actually, to bless you in, that video is a part of the EP. The song, my boss, is a part of the EP. Go Shot crazy. by 290. Oh, Shot fuck by it, talking about. Go crazy. You know, that part is it's a part of the EP. Um, the EP came about just because, you know, I was managing at first and I really wanted to um, push Fee Baby. And we thought about a way, uh, because we had the attention, rather good or bad, we just thought, oh, shit, it's better if we just do it together, right? Because it's right. already just them. So the marketing strategy was just amazing. That's mm -hmm. truly what it is. Mm -hmm. Everybody going to pay attention. Mm -hmm. You already know. And, and, and I'm glad you brought up marketing strategy because that's what I want to get into. Now that, you know what I'm saying, we got a release date, the project is done. Um, uh, what type of push can we expect to see behind this project? Is we just putting it out and it's gonna do what it's gonna do? Is we finna hit this throughout the summer? Like, what's what's the the uh, the goal moving forward? Yeah, so this EP is pretty much the summer run. Um, we got a a single project for um, Fee Baby to come out for her birthday in August. Who we'll be looking out for that? Exactly. Then I have mine. <laughs> My solo project comes out in September. Mm -hmm. So now, um, basically, we just planned the entire year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put the shit together. So we're going to rock this shit all summer. We already know. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm overconfident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we got a couple of interviews, one with you, uh, no insurance. Um, then we got two video shoots this mm -hmm. weekend. For sure, for sure. That's some shit done. So, Fee Baby, it, mm -hmm. is is this is it like a group? Is it like a Kanye and Jay Z Watch the Throne type of thing? Like, like what do we have? You know what I'm saying? Sitting in front of us. It could be, mm -hmm. <laughs> it could be, but um, that's how I feel about it. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. you know, it's Tupac, Tupac Biggie shit. Yeah, <laughs> just the two powerhouses. Because I wouldn't yeah. even say a group. Cause like, 
you know, I just respect both our individualities. Like, yeah. she amazing by herself. Mm -hmm. I'm amazing by myself. But when we come together, that shit a force. <laughs> My life is crazy. So, I just, um, we just honor the relationship and go ahead, mm -hmm. go. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, if y'all don't mind, let's talk about the creative process. Like, what went into the project? Like, what's it like, you know what I'm saying, with a studio session with, with Beanie and Fee, baby? <laughs> it's goofy. <laughs> Real goofy. We just came out of one. And it was just... Um, the whole time being there, it was just chill. It was just hearing the creativity Flow. from both of us. Yeah. It, it was just amazing. Shout yeah. out Seal Messy. We had a, a cold ass uh, engineer today. Mm -hmm. He definitely pushed us. Um, I felt like that was one of our best sessions. I ain't gonna lie. Like mm -hmm. it was really just everybody interacted, and that was the best part. Just hearing the end go like at yeah. the end, we know we've been state with two different states talking about. Okay, I'm gonna write my part. You write your part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to record, voice record it and send it to you. Right. Voice record. We <laughs> was doing that, so just to hear it come on the track, which is, like, crazy. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. We've crazy. been doing all this through voice memos from yeah. her being where she is and where I'm at. Everything was through voice memos. But today, we got to put that shit down. It was, yeah. it was amazing. And this weekend, mm -hmm. these visuals, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's, it's unforeseen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's dope. That's dope. So, with what you guys working together, you know what I'm saying, was it all everything a go? You know what I'm saying? Like, did she send you a verse and you was like, maybe you should do this? Or did the Beanie send you a verse and you was like, I don't know, maybe we should do this, go this direction? Or would y'all all connect it all the way through? I feel like we we both fans of each other. Like, yeah. So both of y'all. So, like, no, anytime no, I hear something, I'm like, dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. No idea is a bad <laughs> idea for us. So <laughs> uh, It's just like, shit, maybe say it this way, but I don't yeah. never know change of words. Just mm -hmm. maybe a cadence or... Yeah. Had, had you flowing yeah mm -hmm. so I, i'm both of you ladies are real talented so i know it wasn't gonna be no thing for y'all do a whole project why go with a three song ep instead of an entire project you know what um like i said for one the shock value because mm -hmm. we knowing what it's about to do i'm vouching heavily for this project um to just everybody been expecting things, you know, just with the speculation and everything that's going on. Everybody like, damn, y'all ain't said shit for real. Like, so it's just our way of marketing to really just say something now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know if it's about if I follow y'all, I always see y'all got shit going on. Yeah, always. We got our own shit going on, but we addressing certain shit this time. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so 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 like I said, I see I see the work. So so what kind of shit we addressing? <laughs> yeah, we addressing big braids, big, <laughs> big back, big, big ass, old ass, fatty, fatty pack. <laughs> Addressing all shit. the bald head bitches, the dirty right. hoes. Oh, wow. This all the hoes and they don't mama, shit. Right. Bitches who ain't got no job. No. Right. Oh, wow. Bitches who can't change yes. their period. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Biters. Bitches who wear we, two we, pair of leggings. We talking about chewies. You know, big shoes, you know? big clothes. <laughs> no girls. We don't like those. We don't like hoes. Damn, y'all just threw that bitch. So, yeah. okay, so, but is it a diss track? Is it a mm. diss track? Like, was somebody could somebody take this as a diss track hearing it? Definitely. Definitely. Oh yeah, let the hit it's, dogs holler. It's, it's more than diss track. It's, let the it's hit dogs holler. Mm -hmm. It's direct. It's very direct. Direct. Let the hit dogs holler. It's direct. Uh, we very let direct. we let bitches have fun. Y'all gonna play some music for y'all leave everybody? Oh yeah. You, we let hoes have fun <laughs> for six months. I, bravo. Now move out the way. It's hot. Sorry, baby. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let, let's talk about this weekend. Yeah. This weekend, we are we shooting two videos this weekend? Shooting two yeah, videos back this back. Are 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 they running gun? Are they directed? Is it something you could talk about? Like um, like yeah, like, it's something we could talk about because we know we know the timing on this mm -hmm. shit. But yeah. Oh, yeah, true. So, um, really, we got the rain room for we got a sexy R and B song. Um, it's for the lesbians, you know. <laughs> a lot of people don't have no lesbian R and B licks, so Definitely. we got a lot of beautiful oh, women. We got a rain room. You know what I'm saying? The rain, mm -hmm. females, the tub. So you get the idea of that video. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got another one, Weak Ass Bitch. Mm -hmm. That speaks for a motherfucking self. It speaks, speaks for itself. You hear me? <laughs> I had to chime in this one. Cause yeah. Yeah. This yeah. song, well, honestly, when we made this song, um, 
we had what was it, like four hours in the studio, mm-hmm. and we were supposed to go in there and record our own shit. But we actually took that whole studio time to come up with that song. Yeah. So once we got done with that song, just make coming up with the song, not putting it down. Yeah, you know, like beats was going around the rotation, mm. and now when drop, we was like, yeah, we mm, like that. It. So I ain't gonna lie, feet flooded that bitch quick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm <laughs> looking at um. <laughs> I got one sentence on this one. Yeah, I was yeah. done. I was Slow done. Down. Hey, but I love that though, just to see the growth. Like I ain't gonna lie, like my girl just took the fuck off from my life, and she she definitely led that bitch. She came in swinging, so mm-hmm. I had to come go ahead lace up. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> lace them shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and for you, Fee baby, with the weekend coming up, what 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 message are you trying to convey? You know what I'm saying? When you get in front of the camera and you get to work, is this something that you've been? Getting ready for, or is you following with Beanie Lee? What's it like for you stepping into uh as, into the music video? Um, I'm always taking her lead. You know, mm-hmm. she knows what's best. So, um, it's more of a like, I'm ready. You know, it's just well, one video. You know, like the last lesbian video that we're doing tomorrow it's just to get a message out there to lesbians because there's not really a lot of lesbian artists out here mm-hmm. it's not a lot and if they are they studs and, and a lot of them is really not gay they do or not it. just mm-hmm. saying that this is for them you know yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying so it's specifically for us mm-hmm. by us <laughs> exactly yeah and um weak ass bitch is just you know for these weak ass bitches my message is you know leave me the fuck alone Man, you, you know I, I ain't gonna keep arguing bitches i know i can rap so I, i'm you just this you like mm-hmm. Any bitch for I'm just this you and I'm gonna leave it as that. So it's just shit. Battle me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Respectfully. Um do you think battling is something that the female uh rap game needs? Do you feel like Hell yeah, just to get animosity off like you know, a lot of motherfuckers be wanting to Oh, I'm going to fight. I'm going to do this. All right, cool. We can fight, but you still don't rap better than me. You still mad. Like, you <laughs> beat me right. in the shit you really want to beat me in. And then, we, all right, cool. All right, we can fight too. But, I mean, you still not going to spit a bar harder than mine exactly. at the end of the day. <laughs> so, we just really looking at it like, okay, shit, come at all on all angles. And everybody ready on all angles. So, whichever way you want to come. Just, I hope you got that right. All right. When they call you trying to do a rap battle, you pick up that phone. What? That phone going <laughs> out. Look, I damn just set it up. All right, where you want to have it at? Let's share it. Okay. Let's go. I've been saying battle me, though. <laughs> With this project, are we paying attention to the analytics? Like, are you just putting it out and it's going to do what it's going to do? Are you trying to see how many streams it's going to get? You know what I'm saying? Are you yeah, paying we, attention to who's listening? Or, or what's that like? Yeah, we kind of doing like a... Uh, like a, a test run just because this is really our first time really like dropping an actual project mm-hmm. together so we don't really have an idea of projected we have a goal mm-hmm. and i don't want to speak on a goal because we only gonna speak on it if we hit that goal mm-hmm. but <laughs> we know what the goal is and we we pretty confident in it so mm-hmm. shit i'm a strong believer in god so i didn't put all that work in for none mm-hmm. she ain't put all that work in for none. Right. we didn't put all that work in for none so Feedback, what about you? you? You paying attention to the numbers or, or is it just about the art with you? Um, it ain't really, really never about the numbers to me, you know. Um, but I am paying attention to who's watching. It's always good to pay attention. So um, this is a test run. It, it's like I said, it's my first project, period. So um, I want to see what it's going to do. Mm-hmm. For first sure. project, you're mm-hmm. killing it. I don't even know <laughs> since June. I love For that. Sure. Beanie, is this your first project? Um, you know, it's not actually uh, my first project. It's my first EP that I was willing to do with somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it's my first com- mm-hmm. uh, combination project. So with this not being your first project, and you also, you know, what I'm saying, not only are you guys artists, but you guys have a, a friendship. Right. Um, what kind of advice do you give her? You know, what I'm saying, moving forward or throughout the the project. Um, just stay as humble as you are. Very smart. Very funny. You got all the shit you need. You know what I'm saying? You got a special thing about you. You taller than a motherfucker. You demand attention. You know what I'm saying? So you cold and remember that in everything. You know what I'm saying? Even when you mm-hmm. spin your bars, when you wake up in the morning, when you go to bed. Same shit I say to her in the dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I say it in the light. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So yeah, she that. And I can't wait till you do what we know you're going to do on her own though. You know what I'm saying? Like definitely. So this is really just mm-hmm. get the 
Roar, drop her project, create her own fan base, and I rebrand my fan, um, mm. fan base. Yeah. Okay. Fee, with this being your first project mm. and with you guys being in two different states, was it at any point where you was like, man, I wish you was here or, you know what I'm saying, you got frustrated or any like that? Or was um, it any parts of it difficult or, or did y'all just make it work? I mean, all the time I wish she was here. Mm -hmm. You know, just the frustration of having to send the voice memos. Yeah. And every time I want to go listen to it, I got to scroll through messages just to find the voice memo. And it's like, I wish you was just here so we just go to the studio mm -hmm. and lay the shit down. But I know patience is always yeah. important. So um, she's here now. So you hear me? We handle it business. Like, every time we touch down, that shit You know, down. so I, I always have faith in it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, vice versa, same mm -hmm. thing. I always wish she was there. <laughs> so, um, we, I think we say that to each other yeah. at least two times a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but handling business, for sure, Beanie, because I, I see you handling business in both states, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so what's that like? Is, is that, you know what I'm saying, was that intentional? You know what I'm saying? Did you intend to, to be getting it on in both states? Is it just how things roll out? Like, mm -hmm. you cool with the travel? What's that like? I'm real cool with the travel. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? Um, I get new opportunities. So every time I go home, I go somewhere new. Um, I work as a bottle girl. Shout out Dallas Elite. You know what I'm saying? So I get a lot of connections that way. Um, coming back home, just people seeing me on Instagram and like, oh, I never really met you in Chicago, but I'm in Chicago. So next time you come, if you have a show or something, I'm going to come. Like mm -hmm. people do that to me now, you know? Mm -hmm. So. I would just say the legwork was really just not dependent on the place. It was really just dependent on um, what I was trying to build again and mm -hmm. what I knew I could do. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And real quick, I wanted to ask you, and, and it's something I see a lot and I've seen it a lot, you know what I'm saying? When somebody new from out of town to come to Chicago, they might get preyed upon, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. people might try to take advantage of them or the new person might go with the wrong crowd and I know they some lames and shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So has everything been cool, you know what I'm saying, in Texas? Has it been a learning stage? Are you have to learn who to fuck with and who not to fuck with or has everything just been copacetic? I would say like... Because where we from, like, it's hard to catch us green. Like, mm. it's hard to catch us, like, oblivious to what's going on. I feel like different states kind of just more obvious than we are. I think we got a lot of, like, slickness to us a little bit. Like, we know how to know what's going on without letting you know we know what's going on type shit. You know, so mm -hmm. it definitely happens. Like, you get people trying to, uh, you know, might be a little jealous of you because you're getting a certain, uh, you know, rep in their city. And they hot right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit happen everywhere. Like, mm -hmm. for sure. I definitely face that and run into that. But I, I usually just ignore that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Free baby. How, are you, you, you content in Chicago? Or are we gonna be talking about next time we talk? Are we gonna be talking about how you in town visiting? What, what's it like for you? Is you... <laughs> next time we're gonna be talking about me out of town. Mm -hmm. Doing the show, you know. I'm trying to branch out as well, but I'm not really worried about getting preyed on because I know everybody in you know want the same thing. Some of some people are looking for money out of it. Some people do it for enjoyment. Some people look doing it for clout. Mm -hmm. You know, so at the end of the day, I'm not really worried about being preyed on. I'm worried about myself, my music, and, and that's it. That mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. When when you guys was working on this project, was it ever a discussion to bring in any other artists into the project or was it always just the um you two that might be real cocky but hell no nah. we always thought it was just us two like yeah. i don't know i think i think i really fell in love with like how we sound together mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i like her i'm a fan of her sound solo of course i'm a fan of my sound solo <laughs> you know what i'm saying so just together i you know I just fucked with how it sound. I was like, shit, I ain't never vibe with nobody, like, not no female. I say mm -hmm. dudes I have um, over songs, but no female. She mm -hmm. the only female I ever felt like, damn, I could do a project <laughs> with you, like, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Fee Baby, do you use this project, you know what I'm saying, as like, you know what I'm saying, you look at this and know what you're going to do for your next project, your own project, or is that going to be something totally different? I use it as a step. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I just use that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming we can see see Beanie Beanie on there on that project. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you guys uh for the videos are are they you got a director? Are you directing them? Like, what's what's the 
what's what's it? We already got the we got the settings. You told us where they was gonna yeah. be at. You know what I'm saying? So who's directing them? Is it just bring the camera and shoot? You know what I'm saying? Are we telling a story? They sound like this. The titles sound like you tell them a story. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna say, um, I entered a little competition uh, with Juke by Nico Nine. Where he had basically a thing two for uh two fifty two videos for two fifty and we just really rocked one and we seen what he had going on um really he hit me up you know very interested in the situation and we we took on that um he's been very helpful very uh easy to work with but majority of it y'all know I'm traumatized y'all remember the last time I came I told you, I'm traumatized I don't let nobody do shit everybody remember last yeah, time y'all yeah, came no, man. I don't let nobody do shit. So a lot of the times we we one man banding out here, you know what I'm saying? We talking together and putting shit together and then letting him know and he letting us know like from a director's view what he thinks, you know, just to um, enhance our thoughts. But a lot of the time we still one man banding and I'm I'm working on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. What what about wardrobe? Is that something that 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 is going deep into it or okay? Us, um, my friend Divine is also um a designer and well she you know she does fashion and things like that. So I get I consult her a lot about my clothing. So I mm-hmm. shout her out for sure because she does help me a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, you guys are obviously you know what I'm saying the last time you guys were here you know what I'm saying it it was uh on different circumstances do you feel like you know what I'm saying on the outside people looking in might think you know what I'm saying that that's like bad you know what I'm saying for your career or do you think you know it's good to tell everybody you know what I'm saying what's going on say like that I'm going to let you answer first I mean I feel like it's good to um tell motherfuckers what's going on because people be out here lying you know so um, it's always two sides to every story, yeah. always. So, um, why not put our side out there at this point? Like I said, motherfuckers be lying. You know, yeah. everybody ain't what they seem to be. So, what you think? I honestly, <laughs> motherfuckers spend months trying to tell the story for me. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of traumatic shit, people don't really talk about in the public. Um, just cause they, you know, black people, we really taught not to talk about shit. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like that shit toxic. I'm going to talk about that shit. If I need to talk about that shit, don't mention me. If you don't want to get mentioned back, don't, don't talk about shit. If you don't want all the parts told, mm-hmm. don't say your little <coughs> part and you don't want the rest told. So, you know, the harassment, the fake pages, the everyday watching, mm-hmm. we can't Literally. do that. We can't keep doing that. Are, are we anticipating a clap back from this music? And if we do get some type of response from anybody whoever may feel some type of way if the shoe fit where you know what i'm right. saying um is the response gonna be in ep form again is it gonna be straight single is it coming right back right <laughs> next day after like what it's whatever form they put it in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so could this be the end of it, it could. um i believe that <laughs> Mm-hmm. I believe this shit for it, It's at the end of the day. We said what we said. We said what the fuck we said. Mm-hmm. We said okay. We said. I don't know. One yeah. folks might want to rap. That's all yeah. Now. That's cool. You know, say but what you're gonna say. It's but not gonna be hotter than our shit. Mm-hmm. It's not. What's this? A this this party? Right. What's this? <laughs> right. I mean, that motherfucker's been on the campaign for this shit. Motherfuckers <laughs> got music for days. It's just I hate you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Ah yeah. damn. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. All right. Here you go. Here go your response. You wanted your clout. Mm-hmm. We got you. Mm-hmm. We see you. How much of manager Beanie is involved in the project overall? Like, are you pushing it? Are you promoting it? Are you, you know what I'm saying, booking shows, interviews as well? Or is it, you know what I'm saying, you got a team working with you as well? A hundred percent. I still, you know, move in the manager light um, just because, you know, I feel safe that way. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have nobody really mm-hmm. making no decisions for me. Um, I always consult with her. About what she thinks and how, you know, what she thinks moving forward about this person or even the studio we going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. so we always consult in each other. So it's kind of a duo thing. Um, but just because of experience, you know, she's still coming in and still experiencing certain things. She don't really have to go through level one, tier one bullshit because, you know, we talking about this shit. Hey, look, mm-hmm. no, this is bullshit. This right, this wrong. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the times it's kind of a duo thing, but, you know, I, I do know just a little more but i want her to know everything mm-hmm. by the time you know she ready to 100 percent just go all the way off i'm ready for that <laughs> one when she ready i know it's gonna be 
uh, fucking cold. I don't know. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, I know all the words to your song. <laughs> yeah, Fee Baby, we got, you know what I'm saying, we got the project, you know what I'm saying, we got back-to-back videos. Mm-hmm. Um, do you do you ever get overwhelmed with everything going on? Do you ever get overwhelmed? And if you do, how do you handle it? I do get overwhelmed. I've been overwhelmed this whole week. But, like I said, patience is always important mm-hmm. because things going to fall the way they're supposed to. Mm-hmm. Everything's everything. Everything's okay. going to be what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, as long as it goes planned, mm-hmm. I mean, I ain't got no issues with shit, you yeah. know. Now, a song for the lesbians. Mm-hmm. With... With you stating it like that, do you feel like you're cutting out a demographic, or is it a song for everybody that everybody can fuck with, or you just gotta be you gotta be a lesbian? <laughs> All these bitches, if they get a little liquor, <laughs> they understand what the fuck we talking about, and I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. That's all I'm saying. Like it's just. You know, yes, yeah, for the lesbians, like we the ones who understand it on an everyday basis, but these these females don't let them trick you now. They be sitting out there, I don't like girls. And as soon as y'all drink together, why are you trying to kiss me? <laughs> what you doing, you know? Yeah, so we know it's going to we really, it's gonna touch everybody. Dudes going to, like, they like lesbian shit, period. Yeah. So we already know right. the men going to be like, what? Because, mm-hmm. of course, bars is immaculate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's bars on top of sexy sound, on top of sexy visual. You know what I'm saying? Who don't want to see oily and wet females in the rain <laughs> in, the, in the tub? Who wouldn't? You know what I'm saying? So... I feel like we we paid attention to everybody, you know, mm-hmm. of raw. And, and feet, baby, when you you was creating this music, was you you know what I'm saying? Did you have it in your mind like for the lesbians only? But can the other people fuck with it too, or or you really you gotta be a lesbian to really feel that? No, shit? I didn't really have it in my mind that you gotta be a lesbian to listen to the song because like you mm-hmm. said, everybody like a little, little gay shit. A little gay shit. Like, mm-hmm. It could be a married couple. They might. Be like, damn, this is some, some get hot lesbian shit, you know? I want to watch you do some strange right. shit, you know? Yeah. Like, this is, yeah. you know, might get on Lake Shore with it. It could be for everybody, <laughs> but, like, you know, I just know. It's the lesbians change. know what we talking about. Yeah, we say what we say, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, moving forward, you know what I'm saying? We got uh, Fee Baby single project mm-hmm. coming. Beanie, as far as your single projects or your single work goes, is that something that you even got on the calendar? Is that something you're not worried about? You're trying to fill it out? Was um, is you retiring again? No, no <laughs> like <laughs> solo by myself right now. I have um three big features that we dropping in the summer outside of the EP. So I do have like a um, planned year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we working on her project as well throughout the summer, and you know just getting ready to drop her. So I want to focus and hone in on that. You know to be a support for that. Um, afterwards, well, you know, simultaneously, I'm gonna have to be working on my project, but right. um, mine drops in September. I wanted to give her time to, you know, drop hers, and then I just automatically drop after before the year's out. So I basically have the entire year planned where she has enough time to shoot videos, record. I have enough time to shoot videos, record, and return um, features. Mm-hmm. To everybody So I got one coming with SSOBJJ Which That's a big thing I'm so happy Shout out SSOBJJ okay, Thank you for girl. fucking with your girl <laughs> But yeah Like So it's a lot of good shit coming this summer mm-hmm. For sure For sure And then You know what I'm saying Fee Baby With your project coming Have you got to You know what I'm saying Working on it Like what type of vibe You going for What can we expect You know what I'm saying What type of artist You want to have on the project Or you ain't got that far yet um, I haven't got that far as like what type of artist I want to have in the project, but um, I'm still trying to fill out what type of project I want it to be. You know, I don't want to just be putting out shit and then not, you know, the project don't mean shit. So I'm still filling that out, but it's coming. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So now that you guys are here, you know what I'm saying. Once the project is is done, is over, we listen to the project, we hear the three songs, we watch the three videos. What do you guys want us to take away from it? Um, pretty much like, you know, lions bite back. Lionesses protect their own shit. They protect their clan. Hyenas protect their clan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Any type of feline protect their clan. So it's really just protecting what the fuck we got going. Like, just get the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? Right. Really just get the fuck back. Uh, just get in this get in this wax field or shut the <laughs> fuck up mm-hmm. all the extra shit is extra what about you Fee when I, when I get done listen to these three songs what, what do you hope I take away from it? 
Shit, these bitches don't play. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> but I mean, I hope you take away, you, you know, take the creativity in it. You know, yeah. that's important. You know, fuck all the this and shit. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. the cleverness. About, yeah, fuck all that. It's yeah. all about what you hear, what you like. Yeah. For sure, for sure. All right, man. Wit, I ain't gonna fly. This 290 mo, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, if you guys, you obviously like the work haven't stopped. You guys are obviously still out moving around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what's what's the what's the current stance? You know what I'm saying? What you guys' is opposition? Is it you know what I'm saying? Is it is it cordial? Is it is it um is it on yeah, site? Um, you know what I'm saying? Because you know I I, mean, I see it. Yeah, y'all still working, you know what I'm saying? All still right. in these streets, you know what I'm saying? So is it is it I get the vibe that it's strictly music, you know what I'm saying? But y'all yeah. definitely gonna bump, you know what I'm saying? It's that getting hot outside, part. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. what's the what's the vibe? What's what's I mean Shit a motherfucker set the tone, we going with that on my life. It's just I mean, that no, at this no point. cocky shit. When motherfuckers see me, they don't be on nothing. Yeah. You know, it yeah. don't be none of that. It's be cordial, you know. Okay. Yeah. They be cordial, so as long as it stay <laughs> like that. But I mean, right. like I said, I don't I know. Fuck with Pete, baby. She said, "Motherfuckers see me." They do. <laughs> <for real. laughs> oh, shit. Motherfuckers, ah. motherfuckers told me they not on shit. shit. You know what I'm saying? They leader told me, "Hey, it's from my mouth." They not on. I didn't got an apology. Cool. I didn't got a, right. a compliment from the same yeah. motherfuckers mm-hmm. who tried to L me and shit. I don't got time for that. But I, I don't know how it's gonna be after mm-hmm. this shit. And well, honestly, don't get no fuck. You know, okay. but right, I don't give a fuck. Shit. Yeah, no fuck I go. Honestly, I, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Shit. Sorry, it fuck ain't... all that docile shit. That was last year. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, sorry. Time for something new. Time for something new. That for shit sure. washed out. You know? On the on the music side, on the music side, um, Beanie, you management and artists, feed artists. Art. Is there any other artists or 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 members of the team we can expect to see moving forward as well, or is this a uh, a one artist mm. management and a one one artist label. What, what's the? Are, are we looking for artists? Can can we contact Beanie to 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 see how we could? You know what I'm saying? Be 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 on the team or or is it? So for Big Boss Entertainment, because you know I still have that. Uh, for Big Boss Entertainment, I have um, a few trademarks and a few uh, rap names that I own under that. Um, yeah, that'll that'll be introduced in the project as well. Um, but there are a few names that I do own and trademark and have LLC'd and do own. So um, do I work with those artists? Uh, not really, but we get our reparations how we need to get them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, I have really just Fee Baby. I don't really see. I have packages um, for artist development and things like that. I have solo packages for things that whatever they may need help with, may that be a six-month plan or something like that. But right now I'm honing in more on my career and Fee Baby's career. Mm -hmm. So maybe in about a year or so, Mm -hmm. I'll be able to help another artist. But right now I just want to get her where she, Mm -hmm. you know, desires to be. Mm -hmm. And, and and fee baby, with you being an artist, linking up with management, has this been a plus to your career? And if so, how how so? Do you do you think you know what I'm saying you would have been in the same place without management that you are now, or or not? Um, I wouldn't be in the same place if it wasn't for her, because if it wasn't for her, I would never took that step. But even with her being away, you know, I still put myself out there. I still get myself into shit, you know. Mm. Um, shows I've had somebody try to manage me, but you know it was always bullshit. It was always excuses, you know. And I don't got time for that. I could do this shit on my own, you know. Not saying it like that too, but I could do this shit on my own. Yeah, you can't to be do honest, this shit on your but own. <laughs> it's a plus because she, you know, is my friend. I could trust her, and she not just gonna tell me anything. So I'd rather go to her for something than. Ask somebody else and they steering me the wrong way or trying to get me out of some shit. Mm-hmm. You know, so dope, dope. Uh before you get up out of here, Beanie, um, 
Uh, South by Southwest just passed. Uh, yeah. Real quick, you know what I'm saying, since you've been going back and forth and you've been in the mix back and forth, like yeah. you've been working back and forth. Compare the music scene, the network scene from 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 where you at to Chicago. I don't know if you want to tell the people where you at. But. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm cool with that. Um, shout out Big Dallas. I'm in Dallas, Texas. Um, shout out Money Man Rado. Um, he's really been a big influence to me while I've been in Dallas. Um, I entered in a competition, Watch How I Move Challenge. I won second place. Um, he shot, got a nice video shot by Billion Shot It. Um, cold ass video. Netflix approved camera. Video was glass. I don't, probably one of the best videos I ever had. You know what I mean? Um, just great business. Uh, wherever he said to go, we went and it was done. And you know what I'm saying? No, no. Oh shit, we gotta move this over the next day. No scam. If you paying for something, you getting what you paying for. You get your split sheet. You get all of that. So they, everybody that I've dealt with in Texas, have kind of been um, direct. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, some of them, you know, don't really know as much. So sometimes it's hard to, you know, have a business conversation with somebody that may be in this but don't know uh, too far past a certain thing. You know what I'm saying? So I will say, like, Dallas has been, like, very good to me. Uh, Dallas Society had me for a fashion show in January. Um, that was really, really good. Boost me up a lot. Um, I didn't grow about 600 followers. I'm not going to lie since about January, so. I've been blessed. Mm -hmm. Dallas definitely been doing this thing for me. Mm -hmm. And Fee Baby, uh, outside uh, of the other group, you know what I'm saying, what's your relationship like with the other artists in the city, you know what I'm saying, and what's your overall um, your overall analysis on, on the industry that you're a part of, you know what I'm saying, outside of, you know what I'm saying, the ops? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I've honestly... Um, Fuck with a lot of artists outside of the group, you know, outside of her, our music. Um, like I said, I've had shows on my own that I've been to on my own outside of her. And when I do go there, people do recognize me. And before I leave, everybody's sending me their phone mm -hmm. to get my Instagram. So um, I, I'm still learning how to work Instagram because I don't be on that motherfucker. But every time I get on there, it's somebody new or somebody in my general request mm -hmm. asking to send me my song. But it's not released yet. But... Um, I've been fucking with it, you know. Um, before I started rapping, I always used to go to like open mics just to listen to other artists because I like music and shit. Mm -hmm. I, I fuck with it so hard; it, it gives me another another type of chill in my body that I've never never experienced. So, um, yeah, it feels good to go somewhere and you know other artists fuck with me. I fuck with them. I don't have a problem with any, any other artists. I will work with any other artists, but you know. In due time, mm -hmm. in due time, more about me first. Mm -hmm. so. Any other artists? Yeah, I, I'm. Any I'm, artists I name, you'll work with them. I'm open to anything, let, you F -G know. Guapo, no, just <laughs> 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 Double L. Double L. We going double L. Guapo, what up? Fuck that. Cap it like you like that boy. You been a bitch. What you say? Fuck. Oh, Fuck out of here. Right. Niggas been running in Maywood. I don't know how long. That's right. Out. I don't fuck with niggas that run for females. Before y'all get up out of here, man, did Diddy do it? Shit. He did all that shit. <laughs> Diddy is the diddler. He did it. <laughs> they say he the diddler and R. Kelly the, the killer. <laughs> Diddy, Diddy, Hell no, nah, no Diddy, Diddy, man, no Diddy, man. But though Diddy, that's dope. I appreciate you, ladies, coming through. It's always a good time when you come through. Yeah, yeah. So before y'all get up out of here, is there anything that you guys would like to leave leave the people with that I'm, that I'm forgetting? Enjoy this project, please. You know what I'm saying we got merch coming out with the project as well. After we drop the project, we will drop the merch April twentieth. Um. We excited. Can't wait. I, I've been excited. I, I've been I'm, excited I'm really excited. Fun. But yeah, but yeah. Sure. Go ahead and sure. cop that merch this summer. I'm, I'm excited to hear these up to soon. But no, <laughs> go ahead and let the people know where they can find y'all on social media, where they can find the music, all that good shit. All right. I'm Big Boss Bean. That's B I G B O S S B E E N E. Um, everything will be released on um, all platforms April 12th. Um, we will drop those links and everything. You follow our social media, Street Sweepers, April twelfth. Street Sweepers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell me that. Tell me that. 
I'm free, baby. Don't forget to ease two motherfucking wise. Always. Instagram, Fee Baby. Yeah. One underscore. Um, our project will be dropping April 12th. But you will be hearing my project uh, August 19th. So yeah, be looking out for that. Yeah. So for sure, definitely appreciate y'all time. Enjoy the rest of y'all evening. <laughs> right, for sure. In a for minute, sure, for sure. gang. <laughs>